During the proceedings, the state called to the stand witnesses from the Namibian police, including two warrant officers and an inspector. The state witnesses consistently testified that they observed how Amushelelo and Noyoma obeyed orders from the then acting Homas Regional Commander, Deputy Commissioner Crispin Mubepo. According to the witnesses, the crowd gathered to protest and upon being given a five-minute dispersal order, they promptly complied. The court was further informed that Deputy Commissioner Mubepo instructed the police to follow the crowd as they began to disperse. Mubepo personally followed a red vehicle in which the accused Amushelelo and Noyoma were allegedly travelling in, said one of the officers who was following the vehicle driven by her commander. Subsequently, the two were stopped, ordered into a police van, and it was after their removal from the scene that stones were thrown at a police van by an unknown person, damaging the rear screen. The state witnesses also denied witnessing any violence and could not therefore attribute the charges fashioned against the accused persons as such was not observed at the alleged crime scene. Surprisingly, the state witnesses also could not explicitly tell the court the reasons why the accused persons were arrested, maintaining that they only heard the accused calling for calm and to cooperate with law enforcement officers. During a brief adjournment, NBC News managed to speak to Michael Amushelelo. We should not even be here wasting state resources. There are much more further cases that are much more important that should be taking place and not this waste of state resources just simply because they want to silence a few individuals. Parliamentarian Ina Hengari was initially one of the arrested three, but the charges against her were subsequently dropped. The testaments of the state witnesses really goes to what we were saying from the very start. We had a court appearance that morning. Uh, we were told that uh, our case does not meet um, the grounds for an urgent application. We took it upon ourselves as responsible leaders and said, let us go to our people and inform them that there is need for us to postpone this thing. Before the trial, Juliet Amushelelo, the wife of incarcerated activist Michael Amushelelo, spearheaded a protest calling for the release of her husband. Although objected by the defense lawyer, the magistrate granted leave, the prayer of the prosecution to be granted one more day to accommodate a witness who was unavailable today. The prosecution is adamant that the two activists violated the public gathering law. However, in a criminal case, the burden of proof is placed on the prosecution to prove beyond a reasonable doubt or at least on a balance of probability. Emel Khamro Seibeb, NBC News, Ventuk.